We're heading to the mountains and there's a fire in Gatlinburg. What? Let's get into it right after that intro. Roll that intro. I just want to see the light. Hi all, Keith here. Welcome to the video. Before we go too much further, make sure you pause the video, click that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. We're going into the Great Smoky Mountains here in Gatlinburg. This is actually our first day. And we decided instead of fighting the crowds and stuff in Gatlinburg that we're going to go up to the mountains. Well, we got down here and we discovered that there was a fire in Gatlinburg on October 9th. If you missed that video, you can see our, our trip video that we drove down to Gatlinburg. It's kind of in that video more. But anyway, it's kind of bleeding into this video a little bit because everyone is going to the bypass around Gatlinburg right now because of the fire. But anyway, we're heading up to the mountains to check out the leaves and the beauty of the Great Smoky Mountains. We've missed it so much. It's been like since 2019 since we were here. So we are excited to get back up in the Smoky Mountains. But anyway, first we got to get there. So let's get there. See all these pretty trees everywhere. It's awesome. I like see the uh, colors. Yeah, see, you got some nice views, some creek views while we're up here. There's the line of traffic. I don't know if you can see too good, but there are a whole bunch of people merging in over here coming from Gatlinburg. Okay, so there's the bypass to get to Gatlinburg, and no one's going that way. <laughs> Everyone's going to the National Park. This is probably the real reason we've been going nine miles an hour for the last, like, ten miles or five miles or however long this one has been. I don't think I've seen this digital Welcome to Great Smoky Mountains National Park side before, but we've made it. Woohoo! Oh, definitely quite a few people at the visitor center right now. So this overlook up here is one of my favorite places. Kind of like lets you know that you're going up the mountains. Beautiful. Very beautiful and busy. <laughs> say the higher we go in the mountains the more color there is in the trees as you saw from some of that time-lapse footage I put in there very pretty up here even though it's hard to see right now because we're heading like right into the sun <laughs> and we pulled off at one of our favorite little spots here down by the creek we're gonna walk down there and see some pretty leaves I hope oh uh, just check it out down here it's beautiful and there's some guy with a drone. He's got the gog DJI goggles on and everything. The drone shot. <laughs> Enjoy some water sounds. Okay, well. That was fun. Our spot was very busy with people taking pictures, which I get it. Well, I met a boy from Grassy Branch, fine as he can be. I met him at the big barn dance and he took a shine to me. Sky blue eyes, a big white smile, and tall as a sycamore tree. He's real smart with a real big heart and he's gonna marry me. Just uh, stop by the side of the creek here, take a quick little load off here and admire the pretty scenery out here. It is a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It's like 60 degrees with a breeze as we're going up the mountain here. I don't know. I was just, you know, all the traffic and everything like that to this point, you know, I was just thinking like, I was getting a little stressed and whatever, but you know, honestly, it's just like being here though, right? Like I said, I think earlier in this video, it's been since 2019 since we've been here. So it just feels special and feels so nice to be back in the Smoky Mountains. It's uh, great to be here and I just, I don't know. I feel happy and I feel grateful to be here. Happy to be here even with all the craziness and the fire in Gatlinburg and stuff like that. There's still like these quiet pull-offs that you can visit with like the creek in the background. Even though we are right next to the road, <laughs> as you can hear from the traffic noise. But I don't know. I don't know guys. It is very calming and relaxing like Lauren said. She said it's very calming up here. And I would agree, Lord. It's very calm and relaxed. And there's Lord. I don't know, guys. It's beautiful. Take a look at the, the leaves falling there and the creek in the background.
I don't know guys, I'm just loving this. Even though there is traffic right here, this is a little bit busy, but it's beautiful out here. I don't know if you can see, but the way the sun's hitting the mountain back there and all the fall colors. I don't know guys, I love the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> this is beautiful. Very beautiful out here, guys. He's gonna marry me and we're gonna go to town. We're gonna buy us a real good car and we're gonna drive around. Okay, guys, look at the way the sun's hitting the mountain over there. Oh, I'm gonna go wide for a second here just to take it all in. All the colors. I don't know, guys. I love this time of year in the mountains. I just do. If you uh, have a chance to come to the Smoky Mountains in the autumn time or the fall time, definitely do it. Looks beautiful out there. Just been standing here admiring the uh, glorious shot and they're getting pictures, of course, obviously pictures. But look at the mountain. There's a, there's a tunnel back there, so everyone's honking, but oh my gosh, guys. I love this time of year. It's beautiful. Okay, we decided to give the road to Clingman's Dome a try. <laughs> We've tried this before during busy times and the road that, you know, they won't let you all the way up here because there's only so many parking spots up here. So that's why they won't let you up here. We're gonna see how far we can make it. If we have to turn around, we have to turn around, but I love the view from up here, up at Clingman's Dome. Not that we're hiking to Clingman's Dome, but maybe to the parking lot of Clingman's Dome. We'll hold hands, touch and hug. He talks so sweet to me. Cause he knows a lot about love and stuff But he's gonna marry me And as anticipated At 1 o'clock on a busy Sunday here. We got some traffic getting into uh, the Klingman Dome area. Actually, there's no parking up here and you know how I can tell because everyone's parked by the side of the road. Okay, well we made it to the top. It is 124. I think I said 111. So, you know, like 10 minutes, whatever. It's just not too bad, right? But as you can see, people are like leaving gaps and just sitting up here. Um, and I think they're like hoping people like leave or something. <laughs> so, this is going to be probably another 10 to 15 minutes just to get around the parking lot. Woo! So if you're going to do Klingman's Dome, really you got to come early, early in the morning. Like come up here at like eight o'clock in the morning or something like that. Seven or eight in the morning. That might be early. Maybe nine. But much past that, this place gets jam-packed like this and you just can't find any parking up here. But it's beautiful when you can see it. Oh my gosh, that's the line for the restroom, guys. I'm not sure I'd go in the restroom here unless I was like having an emergency. <laughs> if you're having an emergency, you're going to have a line. So mental note, unless it's an emergency, I wouldn't chance those restrooms because they're already pit restrooms as it is. So, ugh. And surprisingly, we got a spot. Someone pulled out, we got a spot. Step back and look at this wide shot here, guys. We made it up here. It's beautiful down there. Very beautiful. A little backlit maybe because of the way the sun is. But it's beautiful. It's a little... <laughs> It's a little hazy, so I'm not sure if we can see too much down there, but definitely cooler up here. It was 60 down towards the bottom of the mountain, and it's more like 50 up here. <laughs> but, ooh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous views up here, though. Now, if we turn this way, <laughs> up that way, like towards the Klingman's Dome, up the top of the mountain there, but we're not hiking that today. We didn't come prepared for that, but... We definitely want to come up and see these views. It's awesome. However, it's definitely still packed up here. <laughs> Look at all these cars. There's actually parking spots right here, but when, you know, I don't know if you can get a better view of it from over here, but some of these cars like are on the edge of disaster. It looks like, like, look how steep that is right there. Look how steep that is. It's probably hard to tell how exactly how steep it is on camera, but yeah, the full Klingman's Dome experience. It's during busy times, guys. Ooh, it's busy, busy. But we finally kind of made it to the end of the craziness, I think. Oh, no, there's still people walking down the, to their car. They used to be parked way down here. Oh my gosh. Look how steep that is. People are even parking way down here. This has to be a mile, or half a mile to a mile walk back to the parking lot. Wow. All right, that was our trip up the mountains. 
here at the Great Smoky Mountains in Gatlinburg, well, near Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I hope you enjoyed those fall colors. I know we enjoyed showing them to you and hanging out in the mountains for a few hours with us. Make sure you hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with some video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you want to help keep the show on the road, there's a super thanks button down there. All right, everyone, just want to see who made it this far into the video. If you did, say beautiful fall foliage in the comments down there below to let me know you made it this far into the video. All right, everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love. He's got a very